Tonight, the government is still partially shut down for a 13th day. But the new party in control of Congress is vowing to get it open. They're wasting no time. Just hours ago, the House passed bills to reopen the government without funding the border wall. They're also taking President Trump to task on other issues, vowing to investigate every inch of his presidency, his campaign, his business dealings, and more. KCAL 9's Tom Waite has been following all the developments today out of Washington, Tom. Yeah, Juan and Crystal, there was huge developments during the day and big developments tonight. A very busy night with a late vote. The Democrats say they voted on the same bills the Republicans agreed to before President Trump suddenly changed his mind and they say began the standoff. And tonight, there's no sign any of the partial government shutdown will end. Tonight, the new Democratic majority voted to reopen the government. On this vote, the yeas are 241 and the nays are 190. The bill is passed. The votes were on two bills that did not include money for President Trump's border wall, which makes it unlikely the Senate will take up the bills in their current form. That means the partial government shutdown continues. We have sent, are sending them back exactly word for word what they have passed. Nancy Pelosi, I extend to you this gavel. Earlier in the day, a triumphant Nancy Pelosi once again wielded the gavel as Speaker of the House. After eight years of GOP control, Pelosi was re-elected to the top spot in the chamber. She made it clear to the GOP and President Trump, Democrats will not shy away from confrontation. Remembering that the legislative branch is Article One, the first branch of government co-equal to the presidency and to the judiciary. In her first address as speaker, Pelosi also quoted President Reagan, talked about bipartisanship, and reiterated the Democrats' progressive agenda. Keep our sacred promise to the victims and survivors and families of gun violence and discrimination against the LGBTQ community. We must also face the existential threat of our time, the climate crisis, a crisis manifested in natural disasters of epic proportion. Pelosi administered the oath of office to the most diverse new Congress ever. More than 100 female House members were sworn in today, including the first two Native American women and the first two Muslim women. Congress overturned a two-century-old ban on hats this afternoon so that Minnesota's Ilhan Omar could wear her hijab on the House floor. There were also 25 new members under the age of 40. Many are young parents whose children flooded the chamber. The new majority in the House also means new high profile positions for other Southern California Democrats, like Adam Schiff, who now becomes the chairman of the powerful Intelligence Committee. We spoke to Schiff from the Capitol tonight. He says he plans to reopen his committee's Russia investigation. We're going to go back to our original mission, and that is determine just how Russia intervened in our election, what we need to prevent foreign interference in the future. But also we need to determine whether a foreign power like Russia has leverage over the president of the United States, that is warping U.S. policy. It is causing the president to say things like he did yesterday, that the Soviet Union was right to invade Afghanistan, something that is a purely Russian talking point. Uh, I just want to start off by congratulating Nancy Pelosi on being elected Speaker of the House. As Democrats celebrated, President Trump appeared at the press briefing room for the first time, flanked by Border Patrol personnel once again demanding money for a border wall. You can call it a barrier, you can call it whatever you want, but essentially we need protection in our country. I can personally tell you from the work that I have done on the southwest border that physical barriers, that walls actually work. He cannot get beyond the fact that he has promised the country over and over and over again that when it comes to this wall, U.S. taxpayers would not have to fund the bill. It would be paid for by Mexico. Uh, he needs to keep to his promise. So now we wait to see how the GOP-controlled Senate will handle the bills sent to them tonight by the House. But all indications are Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell will not allow a vote without border wall funding. Crystal and Juan. So what now, Tom? Any plans to meet and negotiate? And where do we go from here, I guess? So that's the big question, right? So we have to figure out how this all ends up. What I'm being told is from the sources we've talked to on Capitol Hill is essentially all parties, the House majority and House uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, will go to the White House 
on Friday, possibly with uh, the uh, leaders of the Democrats in the Senate and also Mitch McConnell. They will speak with President Trump and see how this all plays out. But as of right now, both sides are dug in so deep it is unclear how this will go forward because Nancy Pelosi says no border wall.